Hello buddies, welcome to Blopple 2. My name is Game Knight and tonight we will be facing Thalrog Rekev, who runs a YouTube channel that you can go visit. I really uh, strongly suggest that you do. He plays a lot of Blopple 2 and more time and uh, you, sh you should definitely check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Tonight we will be facing his, I don't know, maybe his Skaven or some Orcs and uh, we'll be chatting a bit about what to do and what not to do. Uh, as you may have noticed, he has been uh, posting some comments on my videos as to uh, point out some of the mistakes that I've done during uh, the last couple of matches, which uh, has been a lot. I, I yeah, I can just as well say that so we'll see how it goes i'll see you in there okay so say hello to shade warp <laughs> <laughs> hello to shade warp ah. or game night I, I wish i could change my name in in all the different places where it's, i give myself I, it, shade warp it always trips me up i always I, I never know how to to address you at least when i'm when i'm writing about yours or talking about <laughs> you it's always shade warp slash game night <laughs> Game, and game I, night I, is I, becoming I my preferred. Shade Warp first, but I'm never sure. But game <laughs> night is definitely becoming my preferred choice. Okay. Of of name because it's it's what people recognize now. Um, so Makes this sense. is my alias. I can I can go by AKA Shade Warp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, I already did a small intro where I said that you got back into the game recently and you specifically asked me to give you some tips and pointers if yes, possible exactly okay so and this is this is a friendly match because we unfortunately in uh, in blood one one you could actually choose to challenge people so at least you, in some leagues in some leagues in in the main league you could and uh, and that was really cool because then you could actually try and find an opponent uh, that was more equal to you or fight your friends in the same league uh, I think maybe they removed it due to some exploiting. I don't know uh, Yeah, probably so there, I think there were two or three leagues and at least in the one I played the most which was the Nagaroth open yeah. You only had matchmaking, but I think it was Albion Albion or was something where yes. you had the challenge system and there you, in theory you could feed a team you could and get them up. Yeah. So your Norse are with one journeyman at 1200. Yes. And we want to keep things as even as possible today. I do just, have just to make it fair. An old Skaven team, but I think I'm going to go with the Wood Elves. All oh, right. For several reasons. For one, I'm pretty fast, so we'll we'll have to challenge you a little bit in on defense. So mm -hmm. defending the ball and preventing preventing me from getting it. Good idea. Um, yeah, but I'm also fairly squishy, but I do have two nasty war dancers. Very, very nasty ones. Could be a problem. Oh yeah. All right. I think you need to. You're the you're the host. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's give you the home field advantage. Let's go to the rock. What does it do? Uh, basically nothing. We could, ah. or if we want, we can go for a level. For arena? No, no, uh, no. Bas let's... Basically, just for the the looks of it. Oh, okay. Uh, because if it they look have much any, more impressive. If it doesn't have any upgrades, because the upgrades are they're weird. Yep, there are one or two I could live with, but you basically get a choice of every upgrade or just without, but still level four for it to look good. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so let's go with the one you picked. I think which is the rock, the rock, the dwarf one, basically. Yes. And we'll no, it's the Norse oh. one. It's it's the rock. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope he he did take that. I put the turn timer to four minutes so that we actually have time to talk about stuff. Cool. Because with two minutes, that could be a little bit uh, close from time to time. Oh, sorry. It was uh, two journeymen, of course. I needed to. Okay, so I will still get. Yeah. I will get one babe. Yeah, which is fine. Uh, next. Okay. Oh no! I, no. Oh, I have journeyman myself. I ah. I have one myself. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's good. It's it's equal by so like twenty. I'm I'm familiar with her team, but everybody that isn't, let me just show you real quick. He's got Zercules, 
with uh, a berserker with mighty blow. For whatever reason, rode him. His yeti has agility too, <laughs> and also mighty blow. <laughs> then we've got Dutch on an Ulf Werner, and that appears to be it. Also, three reroads and an apothecary. Yes. So the uh, the the right amount. That that uh, no more, <laughs> no more no more than three. And thanks to my journeyman, I of course don't get a babe because there are seventy k, the lineman for wood elves, a little bit more price. Oh, yeah. 20k more expensive than mine. <sighs> Low down rats. These these funny uh, stories they bring with, with the loading screen. You barely c can make uh, make it to to read it all. I mean, it's like, I, feel like, like, I didn't even notice them so far. I usually usually ignore the loading screen completely. Wow. <laughs> so this is a, a level four stadium. Yes. So it's really big. Finally. Huge. One of the big criticisms with Blood Bowl. Yes. Chaos Edition, Legendary Edition, whatever edition you used. <laughs> the original one. Yeah. Uh, they were puny, tiny little stadiums. It was annoying. All. It, it was basically the, uh, the first, like, the, on the tabletop game, it was just that, that plate. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit annoying. <laughs> I really do love the look of the Yeti. Yes, he looks that is looks freaking awesome. And the runner, Eric the Red. Oh, I get to choose. So... Let me receive. Okay. All right, a defensive formation. Now I I would go uh, and spread them out like this, but you told me to more sync them up like this. Well, it it depends on the opponent. With I think against elves, it's okay to do it like this. Mm -hmm. But if you if you spread yourselves out, it's easier to get assists against the guys on the sidelines or the one in the middle. Not in this case, because your Yeti would be in the middle, and mm. I don't have a big guy myself to counter that. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. And also, if you had guard on the Yeti, you would like to be to have the other guys next to him, so yes. that his guard can actually do something. Exactly. Well, the agility was more of a, a, a passionate moment, I think. Uh <laughs> I've I've seen the match. I know why you took it, but it's still hard. It, I was I was uh, I might have been screaming a little bit about it. <laughs> well, that's okay. So it, aside from that, you set up pretty well. You close the sidelines, which is important against me because I'm fast. Also with the the straight the four wounds. guys, I thought. Well, um, so sure-footed and frenzied, and the people's fi uh, fist. So the guys in the back. Maybe you should have put them diagonal to the Ragnarok and Zercules, just to make sure that if I blitz them, I can just run through. Because now mm, there would true. be a three space of um, a three Wide. field space yeah. behind that, and I can just run through when I blitz them. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have still have to, to dodge or uh, take down your line of scrimmage. True. Okay, so for everybody that watches this on your end, who's unfamiliar with my team, uh, I run and play in a small league. We just finished our first season, basically, and this is the team I play there. They're just wood elves. I did get some fun level ups on my war dancers. They both roll doubles and have mighty blow now. Which is very good. Yep. It's really very, good. Very, very good. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. But they will, at least they we won't have... live very long, I assume, because they will be fouled and they will be fouled yep. a lot and mercilessly. But uh, that's their cross to bear. I'm actually a, a very, uh, very fair player in that department. I don't like fouling. I don't know why, but it, it just. Uh, I don't like uh, doing it. It's not fun. I avoided fouling with a passion as well for a very long time, but I found its uses True. by now. It's it's part of the game, and I've I, I think there are situations where you really want to start fouling. 
because things get frustrating. But I'm still not. I'm, it's not a frust, not fouling because your opponent does it or stuff like that. Because it's useful. Mm. I think when I, at least in recording, you should kick. If I uh, always when I put the ball, it's gonna end off bounds. Even if I try <laughs> to put it uh, like in the middle, perfect defense. All right, so I can set up again. Yes, which is and you can adjust good. mine, which is pretty good. Which is uh, so yeah, good. so the kickoff you usually want to go say, seven spaces in, so basically exactly the middle. Yeah, and keep it there. It can still go. Um, it can still produce a touchback, but it's highly unlikely. It's just a bit. It's possible. See, now I would uh, I would actually uh, pull this guy away. But but that will leave an opening when you uh, if I if I put him here, that will leave an opening if you take him out with that guy. Yep. And and that's why I think if I put him there, you will need to blitz him at least. Uh, what you could do is I don't know. That's it's always it comes down to 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 prioritizing because you could switch the him with the yeti. Mm -hmm. That would make it harder for me to blitz, to blitz. this corner and yeah. run through the middle. So maybe put him there or... Yeah, for example. Yeah. Um, that does... I can't get an assist against G.I. Jofer that way because yeah. he's blocking that. Exactly. And I don't have guard. So that I think that might be the best. And you did correct uh, uh, your the guys bottom, in the back. bottom part, yeah. So that should make it a lot harder for me to get through. I still have leap on the war dancers, oh, but yeah. um, we'll at see. least from a normal perspective, it gets harder. That's about the best kick I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good. Without kick. <laughs> one of the first things I'm going to get on, on one of my linemen uh, is kick. <laughs> That's for certain. <laughs> uh, makes sense. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to start with stuff you usually shouldn't do, but because of the perfect defense, now I kind of have to, at least if I want to create yeah. somewhat of an opening. And that is a uh, block with the loner first. Oh, really? Eh, eh. not good enough. A push. <laughs> but it's fine. Push, walking Harry. And then you can get the assist over there but at least oh, now, boy. so that's my that's typical a start to kind of to this kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> but that's what that's what I really liked about the um, the uh, Norse that they start with block but still have the movement uh, where the dwarves lag in movement and I've never managed to play them proper yeah I never really got into into uh, dwarves that much bash teams in general uh, I usually avoid the orcs are an exception and they got voted by my ah. viewers yeah that's that's how it goes when you when you I put mean, it up I, to the I, viewers you'd never I know. did create the list and <laughs> oh <Ow. laughs> Ouch. I just bought him, dude. Oh, so he's the replacement yes. for the old one. Okay. That was annoying. Maybe a little bit. Just a bit. Die, war dancers. <laughs> Hopefully not. Is he pie? Um. Three yes, one four one five nine. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> If Got you hadn't noticed so far, my team, it's a numbers game. Yeah, so uh, minus only... one, two, one, three, forty-two. The linemen oh. are just the numbers from one to six, seven, eight, eight. That's the magic number. Ah, and forty-two. We yep. all know what that means. Uh, apparently not. I've already met oh. one person who wasn't aware. Oh, okay. Sorry <laughs> to everyone that doesn't know it. <laughs> Look it up. It's not that hard <laughs> yeah. to find. <laughs> the number 42, I think if you search for that on the web, you'll, you'll yep. find something. All right. So let's make the hint a little bit cryptic. You could also search for Towel Day and we'll probably find <laughs> some sort of answer. Yes. 
<laughs> uh. Right. Okay. So here I I I'm pretty pretty uh, much gonna want to get that war dancer down. Yep, and that because of block dodge that might prove difficult. Yep. So this is something no that is could be specifically problematic against wood elves or against teams that have leap. Defending against leap is annoying. And very hard. Because not only do you need to screen, but you need to screen two rows deep so that even if he leaps over the first one, he still has to dodge yep. afterwards. That's why, I mean, taking them out would be would be better, if you know what I mean. Yep. And I also put myself... Uh, three spaces into the pitch and not two so that I can't be served because Norris do have a lot of frenzy and that is something I have to keep in mind. Exactly. This is my loner guy. Oh, and you usually should put your loners on the line of scrimmage, especially when you're defending. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just so that you have reliable guys to block with if you need to. I think we're putting him down there. So I probably wouldn't have pulled him that far back. But he does have a seven movement, so uh, if, if you do jump, I would be able to catch him. Probably. Yeah, so it, it's not necessarily a wrong move. You do put yourself up pretty far back. I, maybe you should have pulled him a little bit further into the middle so that you can address threats from the other flank. Uh, oh, because yeah, of true. his movement 7, you still uh, can move left and right pretty far. So I get a push, but at least I have the frenzy to go again. Uh, okay, there's the defender down, but I think you should have pushed him left and not straight. So in case you failed the second one, you would have gotten another block with that loner piece. True. True. That could uh, that could have been more prudent. Just for, for optimization yep, yep. uh, case. It, nice. it would work now, but uh, that would have made it easier if it uh, or would have given you another chance. Yeah. If it if it were to fail, yep. Uh, now I'm gonna. <clears throat> I'm not gonna dodge, even though he he could. <laughs> and now I can't use the uh, wild animal here as I can't really charge, or blitz. Yep. So, well, you still so you're only moving him. It doesn't matter too much, probably. But at there's at still least he a doesn't... pretty big hole in your defense. Um, yeah, over, Where over you on this side. Where you put at least one guy there so that I'm forced to blitz or dodge beside them. Let's see. Uh, like this. Maybe. Yep. To just... I would go one up, uh, one, one closer to the line of scrimmage. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, I'm still... Uh, I'm still now I right. have to dodge through two tackle zones there, where previously I would have had to dodge through none. Ah, okay. Diagonally. Yeah. If you were one up. And then I, mean, I, I, mean, I can still blitz, but I don't have block on a lot of players, so it already failed once in the first turn. It might fail again, and once I'm out of reloads, things true. could get problematic. Let's try this. Okay. The problem with with the just any elves is the high agility because they will just jump out of combat with you every turn so you you only basically just get that one blitz and that, that is blitz at least just needs plan. to count it really needs to count yep. or something okay let's see i would like to punch a hole here i would understand if you did but oh Ow, oh, jeez. <laughs> I do have some trouble here today, hey. apparently. <laughs> it's when it's a friendly match. Uh, not just then. <laughs> <laughs> not just then. <laughs> well, and that's that's what I mean. Sometimes you have these ideas, and in, in the last match I had, that guy had some insane luck with some of his moves that yep. statistically shouldn't have gone that well. 
Um, so, so sometimes it just doesn't go your way, and it's it's like in Mordheim, really. You see that too often as well. Yeah, pretty much. It's just that he he made some really weird moves, and they worked. Yeah. It's all the dice take and give whatever. <laughs> oh, they do. There was just some stuff that was really weird and should not have worked, but it's part of the game that it sometimes does. And then sometimes you you set everything up perfectly and you fail. You fail those two die rolls uh, against your enemy, and and it just doesn't go your way all all the time. That's how yep. it is. That's block ball. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so so uh, you're keeping a a wide a wide. Uh, 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 formation over against the one side and not going too close uh, yep I usually don't cage with elves mm. too much uh, I could stay back with the throw a little bit but I pulled him up first which yep. probably wasn't the smartest move to make um, but he but is 42 so. still yes but uh, it, <laughs> if you don't know the question what matters the answer <laughs> <clears throat> True, and I also have to keep your frenzy in mind. So yes, that's a bit weird. It will still keep you away for now. At least you hope so. Yep. Because I'm 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 in a time on a time limit here, uh, because of your big movement, and now you have two, three people on my side. Um, of the line of scrimmage. So, yep. so basically, what we're trying to do, what I'm trying to do, is pull basically your defense apart so that I have somewhere to slip through and your people are out of position. Mm. For example, the three guys on the uh, on your left side, my right side, um, can't really do much this turn. You just need to reposition them and put them somewhere where they can be useful next turn. Yeah. That's right. Um, the Yeti is similar. As long as you don't want to blitz with him, movement might be a problem. And yeah, you did that against key. your last enemy there as well, is the aggressive approach with him. You pull them into my half instead of going backwards into yours to defend. Yeah. Um, which can work, but I'm faster than you and more agile, so I'll most likely just run away again. That's true. If you can pull it off, we might be able to blitz six, so the lineman that is diagonally to my thrower, and mm. put pressure on them. That might work, because then you've got your Ulf Werner on the other side. Yeah. But my Ulf Werner over there won't really matter this turn. But I, I will need to put some pressure on you here. Yep, probably. Right. Could do that, but I want an assist here. So what I'm thinking is to pull my berserker up here with the go for it, mm -hmm. and then take my lineman and tear this guy apart. So what you usually should do before this is reposition everybody else that you can afford to reposition because there was a roll involved and ah, the one yes. is not good. All right. Because there are still three guys in your backfield that can score and if you're going to blitz um, my cage corner there, you should at least That's true. force me to dodge if, if things fail. And make it harder for you to catch the ball. Yep. Yeah. If need be. I think we're gonna try and go. Good. Thank you. And the disturbing presence here is actually pretty helpful. Yeah. Because I did set up for a passing and not running down. And now you cover all three. Plus the tackle zones makes the catch a 4 plus instead of a 2 plus. But you do have a... Lone war dancer there. 
But he can score, at least not nope. the next turn. Not, not the next turn. I'll take the Blitz now. And double skulls. And that's why I always talk about movement first. Yes. And loner. Yoohoo! Go down. <laughs> Dude. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay. Four plus is very hard. <laughs> but I need I need to get in every single match I need to get a double skull. That it seems like that's how things need to be. Uh, that's just mandatory. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it always appears unlikely, but with the amounts of rolls, it it will happen sooner or later. I think in one of my last matches, uh, there were a total of three or four double skulls. Oh, really? Between both players uh, in total, so not only me, but still, that wasn't pretty. Nope. That really messes up things. Okay, let me see. Double skulls! <laughs> no! <laughs> I would say my block rolls have been subpar so far, so I don't mind that this worked. True. Okay. Nope. And so where's my... Okay, he's right there, so he's not a good choice. I was looking for my dodge lineman so that I don't have to waste the reroll in case of a one. Ah. But he's uh, next to Zercules. Yes. So he's not a good target for me to set up like this. So let's try this. And basically, since you, you made it very hard for me to score and I don't want to take too many risks here, I'm just trying to create a little bit of a screen. Mm. Um, and let's throw the ball in there. Yep. Well done. And now I can go for the remaining stuff. And I mean, the, the dodging is pretty good with with the elves so repositioning is is a lot easier with them than than what i have that is true uh very much so Ooh. and yes that was on purpose because that... i need i need to get there all right and i'd rather take the dodge through one tackle zone with the build and reroll than do a going for it without true I don't know if that actually is the better role, but I think it is. Uh, it's a yeah, it's 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 a two plus with a reroll, so or three no, plus, a three plus with a reroll or a two plus without or with a team reroll. Yep. So and the Ragnarok is down. Yep. Okay, so this is basically my ideal and your worst scenario yep. right now because I've completely uh, boxed you out. Yep. Which is not what should happen, of course. So I do still have two minutes, so that's we can maybe see what would could have been done differently to avoid that. So for one, the guy I blitzed with my war dancer, you could have either pulled him back to um, to on my on three here. That is still where he was previously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so diagonally on the other side so that I have to dodge it backwards in case I would have wanted to score with him. He was closest, so he was the best target, in, at least in theory. Uh, that way, it would have been harder for me to blitz him because he was far further back. Mm. I think I could have still have reached him, but uh, not as easily. Well, you, and you blitzed the other guy, right? You blitzed... Yeah, I, I blitzed uh, the people's fist. Yes. And then and ran then down. And then moved on to give the assist. And and that's that's one of the problems because I need to set up my guys to 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 block you off, but you can get the assists in, which is just very annoying. Uh, yes, <laughs> I think it. I 
the problem is I from the beginning since I received I could p put more pressure on you mm. uh, the the perfect defense doesn't help too much if I'm not set up completely on the line where you can just stop me in my tracks then yeah I only had three uh, players on the line of scrimmage and uh, the repositioning did help there and made it harder for me to get through but but still. against elves it's still hard yeah so let me end now I also got a I, I injured your guy on the first turn I yeah mean, we're, that, we're, that was we're, very good we're down to 10 <laughs> against 10 players at the moment. Yeah. But even one turn of player advantage for elves can be pretty crucial sometimes. At least it's very hard for me to to make any move that would uh, that would, would involve stopping your advance when you just punch through the the scrimmage the the screen that I set up. So Yeah. I'm just going to try and see if I can get my my uh, Yeti over to your ball carrier. Here. The, the rule still stands before you do that. Probably you should move your other guys. Yeah. Because uh, it's a loner and that could fail. So, so you probably so should. This. Yeah. <laughs> you sh probably shouldn't do that. But you can still put him in a situation where I'm forced to either blitz him or just uh, score. I mean, they do have jump up, so he can go fairly far. No, not not the uh, ah, runner. It's, it's, sorry, it's a runner, not a brand if, berserker. If, if he had been a berserker, I would have been able to just run over. Yep. But he does not. So, I mean, he's fairly useless unless I go in that way and try I mean, for this. Just the position you put him in can be threatening. You you don't need to put him extremely close. Right here, you seem. Um. I would just put him basically on the third step, so or the fourth. He has, he has a movement of seven, so without the going for it, basically. Yeah. You but could do them, but it, since it, it you just can't seems... reach me, it wouldn't help me too much. I can serve you because I don't have frenzy. True. He could be served, but not this turn, only next turn. And... Maybe we should, if I put this guy... And you still have two guys in my half, you should at least pull back a little bit. Just in case. Yeah. Let's pull... I mean, I, I personally don't stall usually, uh, so it won't matter too much to me, but in a situation like this, I could probably stall for two or three turns. Yeah. If that you don't wouldn't be your guys a, back that and try to force problem. me to score. I could even have tried to surf 42, really. Yeah, probably. That but. might have been the... the I, I don't know if that's the, the best choice. It, it probably could help, or it definitely would have helped. Uh, but your plan to pressure me with your Yeti mm. is not that either. And in theory, at least, you can get a tackle zone on me like that, because yeah, if yeah. you get the knockdown, you can move him through. So that that was the general idea. Yep. Put him here. Just to get him in. Alright, let's try this. And I hope your viewers are aware as well that we're we're going for a little bit of educational today here. Not that I'm coming across as the biggest douche ever right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is exactly what we're trying for. Ouch. Down you go, three. See you later. Okay. Um, nope. So I'm treating my injuries as as, as, if, as if it were a real game. Talking is hard once again. <laughs> it is. And even though it's a permanent injury on alignment, it is just alignment. With two SPP on top of that, that's yeah. not a lot. And that is not apothecary worthy. I'm saving the apothecary for the war dancers and the war dancers only. So what, what, what he has now, I, I mean, it's a, it's a, Two plus, three plus dodge out, two plus, two plus dodge out. So it's not really hard with a reroll. Uh, yeah. Not at all. That is true, but you, the way you're set up now, I basically can't cage here anymore. So even though I am probably going to score at least as long as I don't roll double ones. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
you forced me to score a little bit quicker yes. than others might have. Instead of stalling. And that does still give you f five turns of your own to, to tie in this half. Yeah. And at the moment, at least, I'm one, I'm ha I have a player disadvantage. The KO player might come back, but not necessarily. Uh, no, because you injured one of my guys as well. Yeah, but I've got an injury and a KO. Oh, yeah, true. So it's 10 against 10, it might be 9 against 10. Yeah. If my KO doesn't come back. And that could help me when... I'm going to be a little bit okay. greedy and trying to even the score here, yeah. but won't happen. But it makes sense, really. It does make sense. And I should still always set up for the case that I do fail this. Yeah, I, I was just about to say, shouldn't you be moving stuff before rolling dice, but... <laughs> I, w I wouldn't want to come off as a douche. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> I'm learning. You learn it? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. this is... I mean... You're not wrong. That is definitely true. And I did forget about that. That's one of the problems I have when playing Blood Bowl while having a conversation. Yeah. I sometimes overlook stuff. I'm getting better at that. Um, but I did have one league match where I screwed up royally because <laughs> I was too focused on the conversation and not enough on my gameplay. And that is sometimes the problems because, because I mean, the time is ticking and and you basically usually run two two minute turns otherwise the game will run too in the league far. we use three minutes so that there is yeah. a little bit more time okay. uh, now with four minutes we have more than enough time to, yeah. to talk everything through we do okay i can make this as sure as as safe as i want to but let's just see as long as i don't roll double once i'm fine okay yeah you didn't <laughs> <laughs> and he, he jumps in cool <laughs> four you should have ridden it with uh, letters instead I, I like it like this but it's looks a personal bit preference I guess <laughs> so let's see my KO comes back and that was a war dancer as well so yeah having him back is good for me I would have liked him to stay down <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> So now I'm basically in a little bit of a different situation than you, I think. Yes. Because I don't want to be close to each other, usually. it You can bash, you can beat me down pretty easily regardless. I do have the advantage of, of uh, running block on everyone and you don't. At yep, least that, at this level. The that is basically on. the reason why the... Norse are such a strong team in low team value. Yes. Uh, because as same as dwarves, they start off with block on basically everybody. Yeah. Okay, so what I usually I like to punch through on the side, but I've I've actually haven't had that much success with that. So I've I've started I've tried to play some off camera games. Where mm -hmm. I punch through the middle and just cage up, mm -hmm. and it's, it has actually worked out better. I don't want to say good, but better. Okay, so I think it it depends in part on who you play against and also how their defense is set up. Mm. The way I set up my defense now, um, going along the side, isn't the best option, at least to begin with. Because, because you have the war dancers out there. Yeah, I have the war dancers out there, and even if you do blitz me, I still have a guy in the back there, but my players in the middle are pretty weak, mm. my defense there. So you could be able to punch a hole through there pretty easily. The problem with going through the middle is that I can come in from both sides and try to stop you, while uh, on a sideline cage I would have to pull everybody over first, but with the elves who are pretty fast, that usually isn't that big of an issue. Yeah. Could make more of an impact against slower teams like orcs or dwarves. Also, the, um, th I mean, the the punchiness of of this team compared to your team is yep. uh, is something to consider when when caging up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with. And you did the. W what you should always think about as well is. A blitz, basically. Yes, so exactly. That's set. exactly what I just thought. Uh, if I but get you, a blitz. I think you should put these guys back on the line, the two you just pulled back. 
to be honest. Um, mainly because you need the assist to get the two dice, the ED two dice. On, on I was one of the sides. Uh, just the G.I. Joe, for, for example, and Walking Harry are closing down the sides. So I, yeah. ca if I blitz, I, I still have to blitz and can't just run through. That's the important exactly. part. Exactly, yeah. Okay, let's uh, try this. So I think the the defensive setup is, is good. And you don't have to... I usually would put the guys back... Um, I mean, the Ragnarok and People's Fist one space further back in case of a quick snap. But the way I set up, you don't have to worry exactly. about that. Exactly, and, and that's why I thought I could even put them one more up if I needed. But it didn't make sense to do uh, that. Yeah, you don't want to be on the line in case of the exact result we just got. Yes, exactly. Um, okay, so now I'm in a situation where I can't get away completely, unfortunately, but at but least some. I can stay away from your Yeti. Yeah. And he is the guy with Mighty Blow. At least I got that on him. That's <laughs> yeah. my first thing, so... Never a bad first choice. No. As long as he doesn't have it. And it's nice, he doesn't have mutation access, but he starts with Claw. Yeah. So he has basically everything he needs. And I am switching things around a little bit. I'm putting six in front of your Yeti, because he's got dodge. And just in case you want to break through the middle, he is my best bet at standing upright without sacrificing a War Dancer. Hmm. That's a good plan. Okay, so aside from that, I think I'm going to leave things as they are, or, well, let's pull them over a little bit, mainly because the kick is going on the other side, and you one turn won't be enough for you to, to exploit to the opening I just created there. That's true. And I can pull up my defense a little bit as well on the other side. So like this, oh, when I just got the... Yeah, it's fine like this. Um, and as you can see, he actually... Uh, <clears throat> in this situation here, it would... It, once I've removed this Ulf Werner, I could have run up here to... Uh, to block his blitz his guy over to Ragnarok and try and push him over but it's not gonna happen as he put one guy behind that's pretty good <laughs> nope no pushing all right yep. so I would always start with blocks as I don't have any sure hands on my runner yet mm -hmm. so that that's always what I feel is the safest but it's not always the best to go that way uh, yes so I think what you should do first or probably better is is move G.I. Joe for and the people's fist so one of them is probably going to try and assist yes but the other one you can pull back a little bit uh, for defense and repositioning purposes for the next turn Maybe because things here. are moving towards your left side mm. my right side and you, he should move towards that. Yeah. Because you need to secure the ball and you only have two, two slash three players, depending on how the blocks go, to m secure the ball. Yeah. And I am already, at least in theory, in range to pick it to up. To pick it up, fail. yeah, if, if I fail. If I want to go very aggressive. And you do. You uh, are maybe. I like I like playing aggressive with the Wood Elves. <laughs> I'm still missing my favorite team. I want to whine about that some more. I haven't done that in a while. The Necromantic. Uh, no, the Pro Elves. So the oh, last Pro Elf elves. team that oh, is yeah. missing from That's the game. Right. They just have the most annoying of catchers because they start with Nerves of Steel, which is a double skill for them. Or usually every catcher, but it's the holy grail of catcher skills. Ah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a block here. I, I would move... The Ragnarok, but I don't really know where to put him right now. Because he yep. should oh. he should be in a position to just block you off here. Yeah, I th I think that's fine. At least since you do have block, you can make some blocks with with um, a good amount of safety. Let's mm. call it that. And here comes the push. Yep. So frenzy is something else you have to work with. 
Uh, yeah. It can screw you pretty badly, and I could have set up a little bit differently to make that block um, pretty bad for you in case you failed the first one. It could have gone down a bit different, yeah. Yeah. Let's try this. Nope. Of course. So I usually wouldn't bl block that early with the Yeti. The w one is n not the problem here. If he had rolled a bad roll, that's the problem. It's just big guys are notoriously unreliable. <laughs> oh, I know. Especially in situations when you need them to not be. So well, it, it, if possible, it wasn't really the the baddest time for him. Yeah, but the ball is still pretty open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I have one guy left here, which I could pull back a bit. Gonna pick up the ball. Let's see. Okay, that worked. I usually for you do have, for example, yeah, the the loner. You could have pulled him back first, so mm. in case you failed, there still would have been two players in the way. To try and pick it up. Um, no, not to pick it up, just just for the screen. Because um, if you had failed to pick up, depending on the scatter, it would have been wide on in the open for me. Yeah. And that way, you still you still need to pull him back anyways, because you uh, can't really... You need to be safe from me. And for that, you do need to screen somehow. And with as many players as possible. True. Thinking is hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Using brain is hard, especially fast. It, it, I, I don't have this problem in more time, so I'm, I'm thinking it's because I'm, I'm rusty. I think it's might probably also be partially. Well, that was a weird sentence. <laughs> um, might also possibly. Yeah, <laughs> partially. <laughs> uh, because you usually you you are on a timer in Blood Bowl, but you are not on more time, so you have time to think, and you only have two minutes usually to decide what you want to do in Blood Bowl. No, in in more time we have ninety seconds. Ah, okay, you mean in the league? Okay, so makes sense. so I mean, and and people will see from my match on Saturday that I can I can do stuff it, with limited time. I can I can do tactics, but I feel maybe it's because it's a board game and you're uh, a bit more prohibited in your movement, and you can't really afford to make mistakes. Where Mordheim is a bit more, a bit less relentless. Yep. When it comes because to mistakes, basically here the first failed action ends your turn, whereas yes. in Mordheim, if you make one small mistake, you're not I, you're not I'm, totally I'm, gone. I'm, I'm total. I'm full of pushes today. Yeah, you're a pushover. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so I decided against the completely aggressive approach. It would have been leaping and then doing a one die splits against your ball carrier, but that would have included one or two going for it on top of everything. And ah, I don't really want to do that. That could have been fun, though. It it would have been. It looked <laughs> would have looked uh, very impressive, probably. Uh, but uh, nope. It would have been your wood elves. So wood. <laughs> no, that's bad. Sorry. You should feel a little bit of shame <laughs> there. <laughs> oh no! That's done. I mean, I have to pick my battles here. You you do have me locked down pretty well in the middle right now. At least two of my guys. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can just do this with the exactly. lightning stuff. Exactly. That's oh, it's like no, come back. I want to. <laughs> I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> And so basically what I need to do now is to try and keep you back there. Mm. Well, you need to try and... And pull forward. And cage up somewhere and then move down the pitch in a somewhat fast fashion because you... Well, you, you still have four turns. I have but, four turns, but... Um, I'm not the fastest. As long as you're over the line of scrimmage when you still have two turns, you do still have a good chance. Yeah. Anything further back, things tend to get problematic. Uh, because you, with well, you do have movement seven on the runner, yeah. So he can go nine spaces if need be. But that is still um, a lot of going for it. It is. And don't underestimate making one plus rolls. That's or two <laughs> plus rolls. Sorry, 
That's mm. not something you want to do a lot of. Yeah. All right. So, so now, so now I need I, to, I need to get out, and to do that, yeah. I need to take down four. Otherwise, I won't have any leeway. Well, I could just move, basically, up yeah. here. Yeah. You, you. So, it depends a little bit on what you manage to do on the line of scrimmage. Because what I try to do here is try to separate your team a mm. little bit. Uh, by pulling my players between them so that you can form a complete cage and that I have some sort of angle where I can attack you next turn. Yeah. And you need to somehow still manage to form a cage that is at least somewhat safe. Exactly. But I do have two players down here in the safe. Yep. Uh, and I can free up another one up here with my Ulfwena and mm -hmm. then bring him up without having to touch four, actually. Yep. Uh, so, uh, the thing is, I should start with, I should start with my, my Yeti, but that's, n that's just what you said I shouldn't. <laughs> it's, it, uh, I usually say that, but there are points where you need to do that. I, I come across them regularly myself yeah. and I think, so, oh, please there's, work. There's always, there's always uh, the exception, right? Yep. So, this is what I, well, yeah, uh, so that's yeah, what if, happens. Yep. And so I, what you could do to maybe at least make things a little bit safer is that's maybe because I don't know if that's the best. I wouldn't reroll that for, no, for, I wouldn't. For, for once. You could pull back the people's fist exactly there. And that's then, what I was going to say. And then block my ward answer exactly. and try to knock him down. So that was that was my backup plan here. Yep, because he is still the biggest threat. Yeah. Basically. But he has dodge. Yep didn't really work but you if you follow him up or I wouldn't push him next to your guy because you need him exactly. to form the cage still um, yeah but things to get a little bit complicated now oh stop that you could form a sideline cage you only need two players for that but I could leap in there and try to push you out yeah that would be the risk there but I, I'll need to try for uh, a different cage here let's see and then because I still I still have my blitz yep ready so I would take down this guy put that guy there and follow oh it's an injury yep that was then my loner I would bring circles to um, to blitz the other guy that's a good idea, yep. And, uh, whoa. Don't, <laughs> Not like don't that, do that! <laughs> uh, the misclick what? is real sometimes. Here we go. Um, right, and Not like this? Like that, you stupid computer. The automatic pathing is <laughs> horrible sometimes. Alright, and he went down. Yep. So you should be able to form a complete cage, actually. Exactly. And that is... was a really good move, so... Thank you. I didn't really have to talk too much about that. It's just that in the pressure of things, when you only have two minutes, you need to think about stuff like that and, and need to execute it. And in that, that manner. execute it in this in the time you have, and that is the that is the big problem sometimes. So I, you sh you should really create the complete cage there. On the sideline, I, I can serve you there. Well, well, I could, but I would have to oh, jump okay. in and push you. I just really and hate... And I'd rather attack the ball carrier like that, I true. think. But I really hate having people on the sideline because it, it just opens up for a world of hurt. Uh, that is on my true, end. but... <laughs> Sometimes you just need to, right? And yeah. That's... And my problem is you do have frenzy, so... Yeah. So I'm if taking you get too risks close. here when I want to really block you from the sidelines because you could serve me. Exactly. I, I'm gonna, and th that that was one of the things I used when I played my Norse team on the tabletop. I would go down the sideline and just surf anyone that would try and come out and and grab the ball or push the ball carrier, because mm -hmm. most people don't have frenzy. Yep. It's, it's a kind of an odd skill. I really like it. I. 
I played in a lot of leagues in, in Blood Bowl mm -hmm. Chaos Edition. And when the Corn Demon uh, were released, the team, I know it's a, maybe a little bit blasphemous to play a not officially, uh, not an official Games Workshop team or whatever, but I still like them. And there you have at maximum four players that don't have Frenzy. <laughs> so even their basic linemen start with Frenzy, and it's just chaos all around, but it's so much fun. Yeah. And once you get a few skills in, it gets really annoying for the opponent. So now I'm going to do the fun stuff. Fun stuff. Jump, jump. Oh, it's okay. the, the the movement is a little bit weird because I need I need to put myself in, put into position first, then I can leap. Oh, really? Yep. It it doesn't take the sequence. I he needs to be there before I can activate oh. leap, and I need to activate the blitz before that. So that I can actually do all this. And I won't use my last reroll for that. But you got the guy in there. That that matters. Uh yep, yeah, hopefully. So on last action let me do this. And so this is I think maybe a, a bit of an aggressive form of the elf mm. defense, because I have a lot of players in contact with you. But I usually, you just want to screen with elves, so create a little bit of a buffer zone, so that even if you blitz me, you can move forward only one space. Now you can hit me a little bit harder, yeah, if you want to. Now I would like to get some assists here. And so you should probably yours. stand GI Joe for up first and pull him somewhere near. We'll do that before you forget about him. Yeah. He was all the way over there. Yep. <laughs> Just lying, taking a, taking a nap. And then... It's a bit messy over here. Because I could bring the People's Fist up here. So I would be able to take down this guy. Or at least get... Yeah. Get the assist in on him. Mm -hmm. I could do that, but that would mean punching with one of the other guys. This, there's an assist there, so I can I can get him away, no problem. But get moving forward is the problem. Yeah, that is that, not easy. I'll need to. So I think you have two options here, basically one is ooh, not my favorite obviously is getting surefooted and frenzy somewhere over to that loner trying a handoff and running him on the opposite side but that would be abandoning the cage and i could probably still catch you with yeah. at least one player so that would be risky uh, but if you had a maybe one or two more players on this side that could move reliably that might be a good idea and not with a loner that's one of the biggest problems that's in a, that scenario. That's a big problem. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put. Oh, you need to try to to push through somehow, or at least get my players away. Yeah. So that's the main idea. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and we'll push this guy, or just leave him there. I'll try for this. So... Oh yeah, you blocked your own path there now. Yep. That's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hope... here. Yeah, you, you could've blitzed differently a little bit and surfed him. Uh, maybe? Maybe. Oh, but you did get the defender down that you need. And another oh, KO. And KO. Okay. That's also a little bit uh, something you sometimes have to rely on, is just getting the upper hand in, in player in with the, with the amount player of players on the pitch. Yeah. You have 10. I have, once again... Well, I've, I've down, I'm down to 8. 8? 8. Mm 
Hmm? That's not a good idea. I think one of your uh, it, it's this is some of those decisions where where it's not that easy to see what could be the best because my war dancer is far away, but he at least in theory is still in range. Yeah. Uh, but I doubt that I will be able to to do something with him. So what you're doing right now is probably the best choice. I'm, I'm just trying to move up the side as yep. as slowly as possible, <laughs> as. Uh... Well, I, I need to move in, into the way again, which yeah. is what this comes down to, and I will have to do a lot of dodges in the meantime as well. And that was that was one of the plans, just to get hopefully as many as possible into your into your zones, so you need to dodge, even though it's really easy for the elves. It, it can, can still fail. fail. It can That's fail. the problem. And that now I. I have some options here. I, for one, I would like to pull the war dancer down, but that would include a leap, and that's a three plus roll that oh. I don't really want to do. So I need to prioritize now and try to get uh, to block you first, and that could fail also. Yeah, I did fail two block rolls today already. So so please fail uh, uh, one more. Uh, we'll <laughs> Just <see>. one more. <laughs> no, no dodge. Yes. Is okay. not my favorite result, but a push is at least better than both down. Yeah. And now we'll have to see how much the dice like me today. Not a lot! <laughs> so, moving there, leaping. Yep. Yep. 67. And then moving over. Okay. And so that's a one die, unless you can pull. Yeah, I still have a war dancer left. Your your second war dancer up. And the three plus rolls good job, are holding. Buddy. That's good. Yeah. Okay. That was that was sick. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of leaping. Yep. And, and a lot push. of pushing. Okay. Again. So let's push him back and follow. So this does look fairly good for me right now, but the problem is I still could get surfed here. So let's do this. Nope, there's one. But I am going to take that now and not save it for the last turn. I, I would have done that as well. And... Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't really have a good place to go. So let's leave him there. Okay, let's see. It's not impossible to pull off, but it probably <laughs> won't be easy. It's it's uh, near impossible. Um, because I I was thinking about some pushing, but it won't be possible to do with the way things are. I think. Let me just. If that goes... No, because that will go there. I'm trying to, to think as well. If you maybe can do a chain push and do yeah, that a little yeah, better. Yeah, you, you position them very well. So that's not going to happen. And if I want to move, and I do, I'll need to either blitz with the ball carrier, which is uh, dangerous. So I the least. think what might be the best bet here is to first block with Walking Harry against two. You can pull at least two assists. Uh, well, one, one assist, assist over there, it's... It's, which is all you need. Yeah. That will give you two dice. And after that, you could blitz with Surefooted and Frenzy, which would at least allow you to only have to do one dodge if everything works. But only if everything works, and that is Blob Bowl, ladies and yep. gentlemen. That is how it works. You could also still blitz with your Yeti to, yeah. re to remove that last tackle zone. Well, maybe even with the the loner lineman or somebody else, maybe the Ragnarok, I don't know. It depends on how the first block goes as well. Yeah, bit. because I still need to get him... And you, you shouldn't blitz, you need to blitz for your ball carrier. Exactly. 
Uh, that that uh, was uh, I need to use that blitz. Unless I mean, if he goes down, and one, two, three, four, he gets pushed there. But then that guy will be pushed there. So that's still a dodge. And a hell of a lot more rolls. Not easy. Not not easy. Not easy at all. But no one no one said Blood Bowl was to be easy. Yep, and I I'm not purposely purposefully trying to go easy on you. I'm I'm doing my best here as well. And you should. As you should. Okay. Alright, let's get this guy over there. And let's get So now first you need to knock down two. I think. I think you are more than correct, sir. Yes. That worked. He and you need down. to follow that? Otherwise I'll just block him in. That that would be bad. Yeah, and now you do actually give an assist there, which is the important part. If you hadn't followed him up, yeah. you, you, it would have been a one dice. And I could... Yeah, I think I think the best bet is to count on the blitz here, really. Yep, blitzing with the runner. Yeah, two die, and then... Okay, so you he follow that down. up, and then you have to just have to dodge. One dodge. With, you do still have a reroll. Yeah. Which is the important part here. So and it's then, a seventy-five percent chance to work, which is not that bad. Okay, work. there it is. And then I'll need to. Oh, uh, not two going for it's our. It's it's risky with one reroll. I could just set up up here. Um, my wardens are in range, though. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I was just about to say, but you have the the leap on your guys. Yep. So I'm not gonna chance it. Here we go. Score the worked. Sure footed and frenzy. Okay. But it, it's it's rough calculating these things within two minutes. I I feel yeah. that it, that is my major problem <laughs> in these games. And that's just that just comes with experience it's just yeah. that usually i when the turn starts i usually already know what i would like to do mm. and it's just a matter of figuring out how do i get there yeah and that just it comes with a practice okay yeah we both have one turn left yes but you do have the player advantage now but you, you get one one, one more, more than me on the pitch yeah so who's injured? Uh, the loner and okay, and three. I have no reroll left. You still have two. Well, you only can use one. Yeah. Assuming we don't get a riot and get bonus turns. That would be pretty horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I need that guy. Yeah. Well, even it, even if it's a friendly game, you still wanna. Try your best, I think. Of course. And that's also why I'm going to try one turn touchdown if I can. Yes. And you should. <laughs> I will hate you forever for it and spam you on Twitter for doing so. But here we go. I mean, so far, I think I've done it exactly once when I'm playing Blood Bowl 2. I, I, I try very often. But I usually fail on the first block because I don't get the push. It's ah. not even that I screw up the setup or something like that. It's just that I don't get the block rolls that I need to ah. push my player far enough into the enemy's uh, zone. I would like to see how that works. Uh, well, hopefully you're about to. So I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> And I don't have the setup completely down, so I might be making some mistakes here right now. But we'll see. 
Okay. Yeah, but it's basically something about pushing your guy into my half, right? Yep. Yep. And I actually I tried it most often with the Skaven because they have the easiest time of doing so, at least in theory. Uh, and I do have by now I can do it with them pretty easy because I have a oh a gutter runner with uh movement ten and oh, sprint. Yeah. That's thirteen. Yep, which is exactly the length of one Blood Bowl half. Yep. I've done it once with the Skaven team. Uh, but the one time I, I did succeed was actually with um, with my Lizardmen. Oh, really? Yep, I do have a movement allowance 9 uh, skink there, or 3 actually by now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I tend to get the, 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 the movement setups. <laughs> Okay, so... Alright, so you pushed him over there. Yep, and this still looks a little bit weird. But, so how many spaces more do I need to go? I need two more. Two more. To make it. Okay, now oh. things start to get complicated, but I think I still might be able to. Oh! Just done. Um, or, nope, or am I wrong? No, I think, nope, I can't do it. I would need to push him one more space and I don't have a player in position there with, with, I could, with whom I could do it. No, nope, because the people's fist nope. is, yeah. I could put guy, I would have needed to put one guy here and then push again, but I don't have a player in position in either of the two positions that would have helped me there, yeah, so... Yeah. On the other side. Yep, so... That's hard. Yeah, it's just, you, you need... you. W the one time I want pushes, I don't get them. That's usually <laughs> how this goes. Uh, okay, so let yeah, me try you don't want to, people to knock go down. you around a little bit. Nope. Mm, yep. Also not happening. But you can push. And I probably even should have done that with the war dancer, so that's a waste. But it's fine. Let's just throw the ball, even though it won't matter. Well, you do still have your eighth turn. I forgot about that. Yeah. You can hit me a little bit. I can. Let me run away first, <laughs> please. <laughs> run away! <laughs> but yeah, that's at least the theory of the one turn touchdown. Yeah. Uh, one more space would have been needed there. Oh well. So, but you also need a good amount of players to to pull that off because you need to do just you need to do chain pushes and that's very hard to do when you don't have enough players. Yeah. And since I don't have the setup memorized, I need to adjust usually a little bit so move players around. Aww. Your big guy really doesn't want to do anything today. Nope. And loner. <laughs> hey, another one. Oh well. Yep. I do have a one die against that guy. Here you go. Go down. <laughs> they they fall down they, so dramatically. Really, really dramatically. That's like a three spin worth. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Let's go to half. One one. Two out, one out. And now the, the zoom in on the pitch really looks impressive with that stadium size. Yeah. <laughs> it really does. The only Whoa. reason that makes me want to, to save up for for the stadium upgrades, even though it will add on team value. Oh, yeah. Uh, while you do that is because it looks just so much better. It looks awesome. And now we are in the interesting situation that you have the player advantage and, and also are receiving the ball. Yes. And that's the situation you want to be in and I do not. Oh, yeah. That's the, that, that's the one situation I really like. <laughs> <laughs> and now I need to uh, readjust my setup. Because I, I, I can't be on the sidelines anymore as much. Mm, okay. It's like that then. Yep. I think I'm going to punch a hole 
through you. Uh, I actually just want to set up against Frenzy. Yeah. It's just the, the basic Frenzy trap. If a player with Frenzy pushes on the first one, you want him to not have two dice again and the second go. But it doesn't really matter much with a Yeti there. Yep. For the Yeti, it's basically pointless, but at least for the Ulf Warner and your Berserkers, it does matter a bit. True. Especially the Berserkers. Yep. And the um, Ulf Warner at least should get only a one dice if it fails. There we go. And All right. I did mention already that I, I don't like stalling, but there's the butt attached now. When I'm playing bash teams, I stall. Hmm. Because if you, you what you it's one one now. If you score as fast as possible, or in a reasonable amount of time, so let's say four to six turns, um, I still have two to four turns to score as well again. Yeah. Assuming I still have enough players left, and even with four players, elves, or three players, elves can still score. I've seen it happen. <laughs> um, and so, when I'm playing bash teams, especially against agility teams, stalling is just part of the... It's sometimes a necessity to win. It is. I personally don't like it much, but with bash teams, it's often necessary. Because elves and skaven and all the other agility teams can just score that fast. And so ideally you want to put yourself into a position where you can stall a long time. That is so true. <laughs> it's not the most fun to watch, but nope. uh, it's not always about what it's the most fun to do in Blood Bowl, no, at least trying to win. You still need to do things uh, accordingly. See, I got the push here. If I hadn't taken my Yeti first, I and I just been once again want to point out that doing doing the first block with the Yeti is a big no-no. Uh, un unless you really need to and want to have these two die rolls <coughs> as uh, as Norse. Because I, I was kind of, you forced me into using my Yeti. But you did have with. the assist there. You, Well, you basically forced yourself to it a little bit because you, the guys that could have blocked safely with two dice are both loners. Yeah, true. And if you had used them for the assist, uh, you wouldn't have needed the Yeti. That is... Or basically, true. the problem is not only did are they loners, but the guys you would have replaced them with would have had Frenzy. So you usually want normal linemen without loner there, then yeah. you can the save blocks. And you have at least one, you, well, you had, you have two of those, three even, so you could have done it. But the way you did things, it did work out pretty well. Your Yeti is in a position where he's really annoying to me. Mm -hmm. I got him pushed and further in, which can be quite annoying. Mm hmm that is true so you 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 are putting me in a really in a pretty problematic an annoying situation, situation. Right <laughs> yeah <laughs> to, to pretty much least. yeah so i will just go for the fun stuff yes first as always jump jump let me hear you say it <laughs> <laughs> oh come on no go down uh, I need to reroll that as much as it hurts. I really can't afford to roll a double one, apparently. Oh! Dang diddly. <laughs> and now we will find out what happens. Okay, so the plan <laughs> there was, of course, putting him next to the loner lineman there and then leaping in and trying to get the ball free. And that was the safest action I could have taken because every other dodge except uh, ones that would have served the same purpose here would have been through one tackle zone at least. So what I was doing there was actually the safe stuff, and it backfired. Yep. And, Double and that, once is just the, the the agility player's bane of yep, existence. Yep, it is. And if it happens, there's just nothing you can do about it. That's just how it goes. Okay, I could have actually done this a little bit easier, because I only need one player to remove both assists, so I screwed up there. I could have pulled, uh, put eight just one space closer to the line of scrimmage. 
that was my mistake there. So I could have, I could have failed the leap with a double one, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> but still, your first turn was really good. That it worked out very well for me. Oh, and this, this I, my, as my, well. my points still stand with the Yeti. You usually shouldn't do that. True. Uh, um, but it did work out, and that did make it very hard for me. It was a, a risky move, and it paid off. It could also have backfired in the first action, and then I would have gotten the ball. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm just contemplating what is the best move here because either I try and get that guy away or I just punch through here. Yeah. Come on, wild animal. Good. Good boy. Damn yep. it. That's the block I'm missing. <laughs> no, and Lona. There we go. Okay. Yep. At least he's he's still fairly safe. And, both and went down. my player has a higher chance of being knocked out, but yep, no. Exactly. But, but it now didn't happen. things actually look a little bit better for me. Okay, so I'm still going to do the dodges <laughs> first now. Uh, mainly... I'm, cro I'm actually cr crossing my fingers here. <laughs> oh, no! come on. Really? Um... Yeah, I still need to do this, probably. The ones. Quadruple ones would have been a bit annoying. Oh, yeah. Let's get away from the Yeti so that you don't have that an easy target. Well, Blitz. I'll still need to Blitz to get up. At least somewhat reliable. Yeah. You know what? Let's not <laughs> do the somewhat. extremely crazy stuff now. that be, I already used up my reroll, so I should do this a little bit smarter and just force you to block me away and with mighty blow I actually did have a decent chance of getting away there oh yeah didn't really work out that way but that's fine so let's see thank you oh my god and now I'm actually going to do the, the fun stuff. <laughs> Leap of Jeebus. So that at least I'm very really in your way. Yeah. And things looked really well there for a moment, but the Yeti was the problem. If that hadn't failed, you probably could have secured your position a little bit better. Well, it's not over yet. Stop yep. talking like it's over. I'm just pointing out stuff that... that, that uh, might have made things easier for you. I'm not saying that things are over yet, just that I'm in a better position now, where previously I was in a pretty bad one. That I mean, I still true. I still had to spend two rerolls in the first two turns of this half, which is not something you want to do. <laughs> that, that's not to be preferred. <laughs> and... Come on. Oh, man. He's, <laughs> he's really angry that you put him down. Yep. He, do, he does not like you anymore. He uh, liked you before. Are you sure? I seem yeah. to remember that he failed some wild animal roads previously. <laughs> um, so you, I think you probably, and so what you need to figure out now is how to get your ball carrier away from my guys. And that's exactly That's, that's not the problem, but, but the, uh, the problem is if I want to do that first, but I think I do. I, I think the other guys are in a an okay position here, so we're gonna do this, and uh, that's not good. Yep, there goes the next reroll. And there we go. Well, there's still the second block coming. Yep, yep. Okay, S same. Still pushes again, but it's it's fine. Yeah, because I I did get one assist when I pushed him away, so I was hoping, but you can always. Fail. Yep, and you did zone me out there pretty well, so now you can just move along your right side. Yep. And through the middle pretty heavily as well. Uh, I, You probably can't build a complete cage, or maybe you can. Uh, let me check. Let me see. One, there. two, three, four, five. 
Six, yes. Well, you, you, you I can could build just a just, half one. Uh, half or one. you could put yourself close to the Yeti or closer. I could actually. Look at this. I'll put him there. And then. It does leave one corner with one of my guys already on it. Yes. Which is a problem, but. It's better to have a, clo a completely closed cage, and I need to do some blocks first, than have one with one corner open. Exactly. I, I, I feel that is both. Both could safer. have worked because now you're a little bit closer to me, and it's easier for me to reach you. But I'm I could have gotten around to you easier on the other side as well with my two linemen there. It's just sometimes there's no exact answer. I think at least for for me. Exactly. It, it's it's a per instance thing and you do have dodge here but it'll make me able to push you over here and then push you <laughs> over there okay but it's I think okay what, what helps you here is actually the position of your yeti because even if i get the cage corner away i can only get one player in there and not get an assist yeah yeah uh, otherwise i maybe could have gotten that because there's a screaming yeti on the floor Going, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you are not to pass. You shall not pass. That's it. The beard. He's Gandalf. Ah, <laughs> now I get it. And with these results, I actually figured out that I could get a two dice if I play things right, thanks yep. to leap, but uh, not if I push. Yeah, if you if you had gotten him down. You would have had a two die. Yep. So that was lucky on my on my part. Yeah, the leap it, the leap leaves uh, some really odd situations because you can you can utilize the wolf dancer even though you can't really run in straight off. So so I think that's something I I I'm also having a hard time just. Remembering what everyone has of skills. You want to reroll that? No. Nope. Just push. It's not worth it. We still have six turns left, and I can't afford to use my last reroll on something so simple. Yeah. If it I was on the ball for... carrier, it would be different. I need to save that for for more important stuff. So basically, what I just need to do now again is create the screen again and try to to get you to move as slowly as possible but i do have a lot of turns yep. to do so to move yep. slowly so so it doesn't really affect me that much it, it depends could, it could be worse yep that is true uh, let's see okay you still need to get your runner away from my thrower again so the one that has attack zone on you. You can yep. just blitz with the Yeti, but we all know what your Yeti likes to do. Oh yeah, he likes to whoa. <laughs> so I won't that do that. a little bit more orky. <laughs> I don't want to do that first though. I want to move my peeps. And and so is this game shaping out as you assumed we I, I actually went in this and didn't know how exactly we would do this with the with me trying to to yeah to, it's, i uh, think it's, it's what you could do i think it's going going as i had uh i had pictured it in my mind so it's very good i think very informative i i i like it so far as well it's 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 a bit weird because i basically try to beat myself <laughs> yeah <laughs> in the end uh, but but you still leave some room for me to make some decisions here. So yep, and and just a lot of stuff. It's just uh, the the stuff I'm commenting on about in in your videos. It's basically the the basics in Blood Bowl. Once you know the rules, it comes down to prioritizing, doing the 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 important the the easy moves first if you can afford to, and do the risky stuff later. And or, that's or sometimes. Uh, take chances because you yeah. you will need to take some chances yeah if, if you can afford to or you just need to there there will come points in in games where you just can't do anything else than start with the risky stuff because everything else you want to do depends on that thing working yep it just it's it sometimes just works out like this 
So now I'm gonna try using my Berserker to punch a hole through over here and get an assist there on the top to just try and clear a path on the side instead. Mm -hmm. So you're depending on the dodge working. Ooh. Because so far you're leaving your ball carrier pretty unprotected. Yeah. And before you dodge, you should at least try to stand up the Yeti. Oh yeah. You should oh, yeah. have done that before you decided to blitz with the other guy. That could have been in case a good of idea. double skulls. Yeah, yeah, of it, course. It can happen. It can <laughs> Oh, and it will. <laughs> yep. It most certainly will. If you play the game long enough, everything will happen at some point. Oh yeah. And then And the Yeti is actually a really big help help there in case something does fail. That's not what I wanted, but okay. <laughs> and even if you fail the dodge now, the scatter could go... It's, it's likely to go somewhere where I can't reach it that easy. Yeah. And since this guy is stunned, I can safely put my guy in here. Yep. Without worrying too much. And then close this off. There we go. That's a nice <laughs> tight cage. That won't oh. allow jumping in fancy pantsy elves. You sure? Well, there is one spot. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Come on inside. We have cookies. <laughs> okay, so this is getting really complicated and I need to put myself into a position where I can be served and I don't like that. I th I one of the things I've found with the Norse is that caging is important. Yes, they're because a bash team. Yeah, they are a bash team. And I've, I think maybe I've been playing them as a runner team a bit too much. Uh, bashing usually equals running. It's just... Yeah, uh, yeah. but still, uh, creating a cage and moving up the, the field slowly is more of a dwarven tactics than than anything else or a Camry tactics for that matter. well I, I think most bash teams rely on that because they're just not fast enough to to run through and leave their ball carrier unprotected true because usually there will always be someone that can catch up to them yeah and and the advantage of having block on everyone surrounding the cage is is really good yep What's he gonna do? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're pushing. So I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the fun stuff again. Okay, come, 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 do it. So you're taking a one die. Yep. I just needed to see need how. Oh, I already failed a dodge, but that's fine. Yeah, you don't need that. You don't need that. Oh, there was a one. Oh. Right on his uh, back. Uh, I think he broke his back. Come on, why not? Please fail. Nope. Oh, man. And no dodge, of course. <laughs> you blooming idiot. <laughs> uh, the guy. Sure put it in frenzy. Oh, okay. A little bit of a somersault there. The mm. scatter is pretty bad, though, for me. Yeah. Okay, so, and I'm going to take a bit of a risk here. Oh, a one die. Nothing. Block. Well, it's a one in six chance to completely fail. Yeah, and you do have block on that yep. guy. And so. there was a one in three chance that I actually would get the result I needed. Ah. Okay. That was pretty annoying, especially since you stunned him. Yeah, all I need to do is slow you down as much as possible, but that's something you can live with because you still have four turns. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it, the quest, it comes down to who can do a better job. Can I slow you down enough or disrupt you enough to get the ball away or just stop you from scoring? Or can you punch a hole into my defense and score? That's uh, the, the usual way these <laughs> things go at some point with oh, yeah. agility against Bash. And that's just 
the reason that the Norse are a really strong team in this team value area. They have so much block. The Frenzy helps as well. The Ulf are a little bit of hit and miss because they don't have block. But they do have strength 4. Yep, but that, they could still helps. roll both downs. Oh yeah. It's I, I don't know how how many times uh, <laughs> like that something like this could happen, <laughs> and you're out of rerolls as well. So now yes. things start to get really interesting. Oh, no. oh. oh stunned, I'm stunned. That's good, at least for me. And uh, that's going to be a four. So that double skull it was actually pretty important for me because the ball is on the sideline. And if you fail the pickup, there is a one, uh, a three in eight chance that it will scatter off the pitch. Yep, and get thrown in to Somewhere. a place where I can't really reach it anymore. <laughs> so that will be very annoying if that happens. Could be. So I'm going to take a chance here and use my Yeti. You should move fast and ferocious first. Or should have. It did work out, so it's fine. Mm, yeah. Uh, but if that had failed, he would have been out of position and he can at least Ooh. annoy some stuff. And that, that is was really good. important. That was good. That was so good. That felt good. <laughs> You're gonna oh, use the apple here? I'm thinking about it. Nope. Uh, I mean, he is one of the players I want to protect and keep uh, healthy, but I don't know. There's still another water answer. I'm just hoping that I can stall you regardless. It. I, st I still need to pick up the ball, and I yep. don't really have any rerolls. Yep. And I do still have an idea of what I could do. And now we need to move you one, two... Three, four, five, six. Very bad position. Why did you pull him over there? Oh, you're setting up for a cage. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's a good idea, but it all depends on the pickup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, oh, it worked. It worked. But I mean, a lot of things in Blob Bowl is depending on the next roll. I yep. mean, that that is just how the game is, and if, if people don't like that, I mean, don't play. <laughs> really, really don't <laughs> play this game. Uh, and I'll follow here, which was good as you became stunned. Oh, so all the armor breaks are really problematic. I have exactly four, five players I can do stuff with next turn. And two of them are on the ground at the moment. Yes. But you'll be, you'll be okay. Uh, we'll see. And I don't have a reroll left, which is um, a bit annoying. Well, more scary because I. <laughs> <laughs> it's the always first, the scary. First one will, will end my turn. But it's always scary not having any rerolls because you feel like, oh, now I'm going without a safety harness. Oh, no. <laughs> Pretty much. Every move is is oh, unsafe. That corner is an Ulf Warner on top of everything. That yes, is, it is bad. Okay, let's try this. Nope. One. What? <laughs> that looked weird on my end why as well. Why did he... Why did he uh, the animation didn't pay, follow through fast enough. Ah, so he, he, he went... That extra move uh, no, and then he, he went is back. In, he is in the correct space now. <laughs> okay. See, he got stunned, so I'm not too worried about him. Yep. And uh, and that basically ends things now. You can just run into the other end and form a cage. And then I, probably what I, what I would do, because it's the best move, is foul the living crap out of my ward answer. Oh, yeah. And, and this is only because it's a... A it's friendly uh, game. I, you should do that in in real games as well. Yeah, uh, even I know. If you don't like it, I, I understand. But I should. Uh, he's I... the only threat remaining on the pitch right now. Yeah, I can't. He's probably the only player that could potentially reach you. 
I'm gonna do it with the loner. Yep. Here. You don't. Re you do have the player advantage pretty big right now. You're three players up. I'm gonna do this first. And I have a stun player as well. Oh. That's fine. Falling as a last action and doing the Yeti stuff first is perfectly fine. Yeah, because in this case, the, the less risky ones. You, you should need still to... probably uh, move Zercules a little bit so that I have to leap right away and not dodge. Or yeah, just dodge. go on the other side here. Exactly where you put him now. Yeah, that you should have done before the Yeti block. True. Um, but aside from that, I would have done the block first as well, probably. I'm gonna put it's this a bit, guy. It's here. a bit greedier, but. It usually should be fine. Punish! Oh, that looks so cool! <laughs> that and was a total just wrestler move. Stun him again. Yeah, but that's that's fine. Yeah, getting that's... getting the stun is that's one more turn that he's not leaping around. Yep, being annoying. A nuisance. <laughs> Let's see. Whee! No see. one's always a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's also why I usually give that my lineman too. dodge as a first skill. Yeah. Wrestle would be the alternative. Oh. Um, it's not a I, bad idea. Or fend. I'd rather like to... Um, yeah, it's usually wrestle, dodge, fend are yeah. the three skills you want a lineman to have. Assuming he lives that long. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I usually just go dodge first because it makes dodging with them just so much more reliable. Wrestle is nice because you can pull down block players and create openings for uh, for your own players. Um, and that's probably why they're the first skills. And fend is just the safety mechanism, especially yeah. nice together with dodge. So I could I could just score now. Yep. But you probably should stall this out. Yeah, I will get my one turn touchdown chance again, and that is uh, quite and all that right. Should I be. It. I still want to see that. Well, no rerolls again, and it. I don't know if I can even pull it off now because uh, of the in amount of players that I have remaining. Oh yeah, I don't know how many you need. I don't remember as well. It's as I said, I don't have the setup memorized. I usually just go by by instinct, and I know how to do it. It's just I don't know how to do it best, ah. uh, most efficiently. And what you're doing right now, even though you are in a good position, it's the right move. You basically you screen your cage, and you force me to run around or dodge through, and that is the right thing to do here. Otherwise, not not screening you off would leave me in, yeah, in maybe in trouble. Yep. It could always happen. Just look at I, the Yeti. Yep. Going mad. All right, here we go. Final yep. move. I probably would have blitzed that guy as well. Gonna go there. And I really hope you don't knock him down. Oh, man. You do, but Both. you go down yourself. <laughs> oh. Hey, another KO. Because of the mighty blow. Yep. <laughs> I like the mighty blow. Oh, well. Mighty blow and claw is insanely good. Yep, it's horrible. The reason I hate chaos. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. one of the reasons. They they can have a lot of them. <laughs> yep, and I'm really looking forward to when they finally implement Nurgle because they're just as bad. Yeah. Oh boy, so now things get really interesting. I still need to try and put pressure on you it won't really matter much though it, in a real game I think maybe uh, I would have stayed down with some of my people there I don't know it's it's always risky hmm. one how can he one two three four nah Wait. Okay, so I'm going to do the fun stuff again. Yay! Or try to do the fun stuff. It it actually just is a... Oh, okay. No. <laughs> it's not that baseball, happened. dude. Yeah, I, I could have dodged with my dodge guy. That's why I was uh, thinking about it, because he does actually have a decent chance. 
uh, could have dodged through two tackle zones, dodged through two tackle zones with the going for it again and blitzed your ball carrier with yeah. one dice. Yeah. I could have tried that, but I wanted need to get the assist first so that it is a one dice, and he failed the going for it. Okay, my KO is out, so the, the one turn touchdown won't happen. <laughs> yeah, I think that is. Uh, off oh, the I rolled double ones on my KO rolls again. I think lots we're and lots of ones. Keep this. All right. Well, this has been a lot of fun, and I think I've learned a thing or two. And especially from your comments, I really enjoy reading your comments and everyone else's comments. Maybe not Josh. Josh is is uh, being kind of hard on me uh, in Blood Bowl. <laughs> he's usually so happy about my videos, and and uh, now he's like, that was painful. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope that that this helps to satisfy him a little bit. I hope so. Oh, we both got a Yay. reroll. Oh, and he didn't catch it. Yep. Hey, I rolled another one. <laughs> hey, you're collecting ones. <laughs> oh, no. Let me please at least get the satisfactory injury at the end here. Apparently not. <laughs> well, I do have two more tries. Yeah. Nope, once again. But it's something you can hope for. And I find it just a little bit ironic that the lineman with the name 5 has agility 5. Ah. That is pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. All right. Gonna nope. blitz. Oh, and it this didn't, is just it, to 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 no. no I I hate the auto adjusting no. camera. Yeah, because that it, that would it mess pulled up. up just a little bit oh, so that man. I switched the 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 push. I've done that <laughs> during matches as well. Like I picked that one, not that it, one. It's just. The camera just adjusted a little bit, and you can't deactivate it. How it's so annoying! And yeah. when when my opponent is playing, and I just want to look around the pitch and see what I would like to do, and it's always adjusting on what he's doing. Exactly. I and don't want that. That is so annoying. It shouldn't do that because I I I want to be in control. I want to look on the other side of things. What are you doing? I'm just having some fun because it's the end and it doesn't oh, matter. Dodge, I just dodge. want to see if this works. Of course, <laughs> now I get all the dodges. <laughs> Look at all really? the sixes. I have two more. With going for it. Wow. So, okay. <laughs> that was quite insane. Yep. So I got all the ones out of the system so that I could do this. <laughs> Looked impressive, did nothing. It was funny. Let's all hand right. off as well. Okay. Yeah, why not? Now I'm a little bit... Uh, Sad. Okay, it's the agility five guy, so it's still a two plus. Yeah. But yeah, that's All right. the end. That was uh, that was a lot of fun, and my first win is uh, not real, <laughs> but still. <laughs> I hope you guys are entertained by Thauric and I. And, and congratulations uh, on the win, of course. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I had fifteen armor breaks actually. Wow. Okay. Um, and I hope that you guys will check out Thauric's channel i'll put a link in the description below because he is a freaking cool guy if you <laughs> hadn't noticed i really uh, enjoy having you in i don't my, know about that in my inner circle <laughs> people i play with. oh don't i feel fancy <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed sharing this experience with me if you did leave me a like and a comment down below and remember to hit that subscribe button there so, somewhere here and uh, then you'll be notified when new videos become available. If you want to connect with me even more, you can check out my Twitch channel where I live stream every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. CEST. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter, which is my preferred means of communication. If you want to check out some of the other content I've done, you can check out the links to the right. There will be three links over here. Have a wonderful game night. Cheers and stay cool. For three rounds. That is insane for both the, the back two back uh, slots. And there's one as uh, Blight on one single. Awesome. Next day. A new mission is available. And a horseman, I think we've...
come to the end of the castle. That was fairly easy, as he got blocked off 